So today we're going to work on putting a 3D projectile into a 2D game. And it's basically going to be going over how to use viewports. Now this example is not very refined because this is just an experiment to see if I could actually do it, but it probably will not make it into the end product of this game. So I'm going to continue to move on without worrying about it too much. So to accomplish this, I'm going to add a few nodes to the scene I made in a previous video that calculates the trajectory, and then we set a path to that trajectory. Now it's important that even though we're using this missile here for our sprite, we still have to have a sprite node here that we're going to set the texture of, because what we're going to do is create this 3D scene inside of a viewport and basically take a picture of it with this camera and set that texture to this sprite. So how I have this set up, I'll zoom out so you can see, I have the missile right here and the camera just off to the side and you can just see what it looks like here. It's important to leave a little bit of space around the missile if you want to have some particles shooting out of the backside. So quickly in the script, like I said, we're going to get the texture of that viewport. So get texture is a built-in function. So you basically, you have the viewport take a picture of what it's looking at. And we're going to set the sprite texture to that texture. Now in some examples I've seen, they put this in the physics process or in the process. And it seems to work if you put it in the ready function. And it continues to update. Now important things that you should know about the viewport. Size is usually 0, 0 by default, so it, you need to actually set a size, otherwise you will not see anything. Uh, for this instance right here, we need to make sure we have transparent on, because if you don't, you'll have this all of the background in the image, and that's obviously not what you want, so you just set it to transparent to get rid of that. And another very important thing that you need to set is you can see how there's like multiple rockets shooting here. So what's happening is the viewport is getting confused and having multiple missiles inside of the image that it's trying to take a picture of. And how you take care of that is you set the own world to on. Essentially, I view this the same as making the viewport image unique. That way it doesn't have multiple missiles in that viewport. Now one thing I've noticed, I don't really know why, when you set own world it makes the missile disappear. So that's just something to be very cognizant of. If you're going to work on the missile you need to make sure that you know how to get it back. And you will probably have to turn the V flip on. Don't forget to turn your camera to current. On the path follow itself I am not rotating it and I'm going to take care of the rotation in the code. So before we worry about calculating the rotation, I want to show you exactly how we're going to be rotating the missile. So when the missile is shooting up and away from us, I want to be able to see the flames and the particles shooting out of the back. So the camera will see this. And also, when it's shooting off to the right, I want it to rotate and look like it's shooting up and to the side. Now the opposite being if it's shooting down I want to see the front of the missile and maybe to the other to the left side. That way the missile looks like it's kind of coming towards you. So basically all of that is just to say that we're going to be do we're going to be rotating the x-axis and the y-axis. So in my previous video I go over how we use a tween to move the unit offset and we're going to use that same tween to adjust the rotation degrees of the missile. So we're going to start from 0, 0, 0 and we're going to calculate both the x and the y. And our calculations are done right up here. Now like I said this isn't super optimized and we're going to go through it quickly. We're trying to figure out if the missile is going up or down. Now the vertical rotation, it'll just be easier to show you what's going on. We'll take this out for just a second. It follows that trajectory, but it doesn't really show how it's going to the side very well. It just kind of strafes to the side. And that's just a set amount. And I have a check here for the rotation to be different. And that's just a quick fix to the problem of my trajectories that I have calculated. They are much shorter when they shoot at objects above 
the tower than they are below and so they don't need it just looks better if it doesn't rotate as far around basically what happens is basically when it's shooting it almost flips all the way over and it looks kind of silly and again since it's shorter i kind of slow down the missiles that way you can't tell as much now the horizontal rotation is what makes it look like it's shooting off to the side and not just strafing like it was before. So how I'm going to calculate that is I have a line that's pointing straight up and it's going to measure the angle needed to point at the target. What that looks like in code is I have a vector 0, negative 1, so a line that points straight up, and I want the angle to the end minus the start, so the target position minus the tower position, and I'm going to normalize that, and then we're going to change the radians to degrees since we're going to be changing the rotation degrees. So this tween type is just a quick fix of it looks kind of awkward when the ro horizontal rotation is greater than 140, so a transcubic just looks a little bit better. It makes it rotate a little bit quicker on the front end than a translinear. I went through this pretty quickly, so if you have any questions, please let me know. This probably will not make it into the end game, but I thought it was a fun little experiment to try out, so let me know what you think.